Hey, how you doing? Michael Bender here. So you're probably wondering, how can I get Spotify and I'm using Linux without using Wine? Um, you know that that is offered for Windows users and you know that is offered for people who use Mac OS X. But um, some of you probably know that we do have a preview that we can use um, for those people who are using a Debian-based distribution. Now, first of all, we need to go to our browser and we need to go to Spotify.com. Now, if you don't have an account, you need to, it's going to be something up here that's going to say log in. You simply click log in, and if you don't have a, um, an account, you just simply set up an account. Then you're going to go to Get Spotify, and then you're going to be, um, you're going to see this page right here that's going to say Download, Spot Download Spotify for other platforms. We are sorry, but currently we only support Windows and Macs. Well, that is a lie. If you keep reading, you'll see. If you are a, if you are using Linux, you might want to run Linux under Wine, or try our Spotify for Linux preview. We're not going to use it under Wine because this is a no Wine um, tutorial. So we're going to use Spotify preview, which is um, really just Spotify because for Linux because it, it works just like the others do. So we're going to go to our menu, and we're going to go to um, software and updates. Okay. And then we're going to click on other software. And then I always like to just click at the top and click always on top. So that will always be on the top. And then we're going to copy and paste this PPA. Okay. Click add. Sorry. This, I mean the APT line. I'm so sorry. Um, click add source. Type in our administrative password, and then we're set. We'll click on it, and then we can now close that. Now I already have it in there, so I'm just going to remove it because I already have it. Click close. Now we're going to open up the terminal. And I'm going to do the same thing for the terminal, always on top. That's just something I do. You don't have to do it. Um, this line, we're going to copy and paste it in the terminal. Now, I will have the um, the instructions on how to do this inside the description below. So don't worry. You won't have to try to look at the video and see what I copied and pasted all the time. Now I'm going to type in sudo at get update. Let that update. Keep in mind that I already have Spotify um, downloaded and installed. It's on my system, as you can tell over here. Um, so I, mine may go a little faster than yours. Now we're going to type in sudo at git install Spotify hyphen client. And then it should install. I already have it, so hey, it's not going to do anymore. Um, and then you should get, as a result, um, should get Spotify. All your music, all you want, just like the one in Windows, just like the one that's offered to those who have Apple computers and are using um, Mac OS X. Works flawlessly. Um, I've heard people say that they've only had a few bugs. I haven't had a problem with it at all, and I've been using it for a few months now. If you have any questions on, on the installation process, or you have any questions um, on this application, or you just want to ask me something that is um, Linux related. Um, if you have any suggestions on videos I should do in the future, please let me know below in the comments. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.